So at Sienna, when you think back over all the years, is there someone that inspired you that made you want to get into all this? I mean, it's one thing to become a chef. It's an amazing skill to hone and become a chef. Right. But to become a chef who is an owner, and especially in your position now having three places, is there someone that inspired you or someone that brought you? Well, you, you know, I, I grew up working for some really great people in this business. Um, Al Ritchie, who owned the Better Bake Chef, he taught me how to bake. He's one of my mentors. Um, cool. You know, I worked for Walter Potenza for a while. That's right. Uh, I forgot uh, about You know, that. Walter yeah. was one of those guys who really... Um, uh, made me believe in food, made me see the passion behind it. Um, and, you know, the people that I watch cook today, who I really try to emulate, is right. people like Lydia Bastianich or uh, Mario, um, obviously, yeah. and uh, Michael Chiarella. Those are kind of people that I, I like the simplicity of the food. I like the origin of their food. And you can see their passion as well. Yes, yeah, absolutely. You can see their passion as well. So tell me a little bit about the menus as a whole at Siena, because the menus are pretty similar to each place. You keep the wine they are. pretty similar to each place. Is there a seasonality to what you try to do? Yeah, we try to change the menus at least three times a year. Um, uh, most definitely twice, bringing in seasonal elements. Obviously, when we get into the fall, we're trying to introduce pumpkins and squashes and more of uh, roasted products, uh, slow cooked items like sugos or ragus. Um, we do dishes like veal spezzata. We do slow cooked brajoles in the winter. During the summer, it's lighter fare. You know, uh, try to uh, go after what we might do in the out of our backyard, uh, throwing a quick steak on, making a nice fresh salad with heirloom tomatoes. So it is very seasonal. So do you think with that seasonality, and you have a young family as well, as I know, you have three children. I right? do. You have three children. So being a chef and an owner, do you find that as a challenge in working with the seasonalities of changing these menus and finding time for the family and running the businesses? You know, it's always a challenge, but for me at least, um, I cook when I'm home. And my, my three daughters love to eat. My wife <laughs> loves awesome. to eat. Uh, we experiment all the time. We bring samples home from the restaurant. We play, we develop. Um, and it's a really nice springboard for me to come back to the restaurant with an idea or two. So you've got three yes. restaurants. Do you see a fourth one on the horizon? Well, we're actually expanding two of them. Expanding two Yes. Them. Tell we me are, about that, because I know the one at Federal Hill, there's some exciting stuff. We're, we're actually, we're moving into the space which you formerly used to occupy. That's right. Um, and we're in, in the process right now of going through the planning stages. Um, we'll be doubling the size of the private location, hopefully, and uh, creating a commissary production kitchen and a new banquet room that will feed uh, seat 50. Uh, in our East Greenwich location, we're looking to expand into an adjacent 1,200 square foot space again to provide a private dining room and some more support space for the That means Sienna will be able to do more private <laughs> events, folks. More <laughs> That's private right. events. Do things, uh, you know, we'll uh, entertain uh, guests that are coming in, um, professional hockey teams that are playing the Pete Bruins, mm -hmm. to us hosting the Miami Dolphins executive group when they come into. Patriots. That's right. I remember they had dinner there. That's right. right. Dan Marino came. Dan Marino, right. Bob Greasy were in our I building. I recall it. Right. That's right. And, and we do a ton with uh, the PGA Tour when they come to the Deutsche Bank. Uh, we have uh, great names like Jordan Spieth and Rory McIlroy and um, a lot of the uh, top PGA pros that come in. And in Providence, we're also fortunate that we have the Providence mm -hmm. Moral Convention Visit Bureau. Our right. friends over there are helpful in springing and uh, getting us a lot of awareness. You've had a tremendous amount of write-ups throughout the country on Siena. So congratulations for that. Thank you. Rick. So. Going forward for Sienna, do you think that if you could eventually get to that four or five concept, that you'll bring, you know, I mean, part of this is for people to hear and understand how that chef ownership happens, but keep mentoring people, does that become part of it? You know, we've already started that because one of the key elements to our business and how we grow and develop our, our staff, we deal very closely with both uh, Johnson & Wales and with uh, the Governor's Workforce Board. Oh, great. Uh, we uh, participate in the Work Immersion Program which um, provides grant money for us to train Johnson Wales employee, uh, students and they get credit for it. That ultimately leads to us gainfully employing them. And I can only tell you uh, we've had phenomenal success with the number of interns that have grown in positions of management. So we see that as a real opportunity for us. That's excellent. Rhode Island. Absolutely. That's good for the culinary scene. Right. So from your perspective, not to put you on the spot, what's your I mean, it's the real McCoy. Uh, I studied at the regional school of Emilia Romana in Bologna. I was the guest of Ristorante Dion in Bologna, and that recipe actually comes from Ristorante Dion. Wow. And um, I've had people from Bologna that it tastes just like the restaurant. And for me to be able to replicate that and, and bring that flavor of Italy and the experience I had, it really 
trying to I get can you tell you that I couldn't agree more. That, <laughs> I say that that is one of my favorites, and then I also am a big fan because I come in late sometimes and I have the pasta vijol to sit at the bar. <laughs> and again, <laughs> you know, the pasta vijol is kind of, it's a more my family members' restaurant, and it's just, you know, one of those great things that we serve at the restaurant. A true gem. You've created an, an amazing thing for Rhode Island. I know that there are tremendous Rhode Islanders and tourists alike that are very thankful that you now have three locations. <laughs> so I really appreciate you being the first guest on the show and bringing the amazing bottle of wine. Enjoy. Thank you, Rick, thank you so thank much. Awesome. For